In this lesson, we're going to look at a couple of uh, simple yet strange looking examples. Um, so the first one says graph x equals negative 2, and the other one says graph y equals 4. And these are so simple that they might even be a little bit confusing, okay? Because, well, you know, what have we done in the past? We found ordered pair solutions, or, you know, we've completed a table to find some solutions, then we've graphed those points um, on our on our coordinate plane and then drawn a line through them. But here we look at this and say, well, okay, there is no y, you know, so how is it that I'm supposed to, you know, pick a value of x and then figure out what y is? Because there is no y in there. Well, the way to interpret this is to say the following. x equals negative 2 means that x is negative 2 no matter what y is. So in other words, the fact that uh, y doesn't show up in the equation just simply means it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what y is. x is always going to be negative 2. So, um, just to make a little table right here, here's y, here's x. So if y equals 0, guess what? x equals negative 2. If y equals 5, guess what? x equals negative 2. If y equals negative 9, guess what? x equals negative 2. So, you know, when you graph this, y equals 0 is here, x equals negative 2, right there. Right? Negative 2, and then when y is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, puts us right there. y is negative 9, x equals negative 2. So it doesn't matter what, uh, doesn't matter what our y is, x is always going to be negative 2. And so this ends up being a vertical line where every single point has an x value of negative 2. All right. And if you ever have x equals a number, it'll always just simply be a vertical line cutting through the x value indicated. All right, so at this point, you might be able to guess what y equals 4 looks like. Uh, so y equals 4 means what? Well, it means because x doesn't show up that y is 4 no matter what x is. All right, so if you go over to x equals negative 5, what's y? It's 4. If you go over to x equals 0, what is y? It's 4. If you go over to x equals 9, what is y? It's 4. And so when it's y equals a number, what we end up with is just a horizontal line that goes through y equals 4. And that goes through all the points on the coordinate plane where the y value is 4.